Rome's Trastevere district has a rich architectural history. The centuries-old walls conceal some very modern homes. Hello, please come in. So this is a former stable and coach house that we've converted. We've retained some of the original elements, like this archway. But the architect also integrated some new features into the building, which used to house both horses and carriages. The loft offers 300 square meters of living space, with ceilings up to 10 meters high. Smaller rooms are grouped around the main hall. They can be reached through various corridors. This is our dining room. Here we have some old family heirlooms. We've combined them with modern elements like this lamp, which was designed by Giovanna Gravunda, an artist from California who I very much admire. And these chairs were designed by Gioponti. They're very lightweight. We really like combining traditional and modern elements. Stairways and landings open onto new corners of the converted stable. This here is our TV room. It looks very different here compared to the other side of the house, which is a huge hall. This is a small, more cozy private room. And who would have thought that a converted stable would also have a huge rooftop terrace? The two fashion designers were given permission to install it on the roof of the neighboring building, which is a theater. Rome is famous for its rooftop terraces that offer a great view of the city. But this is more of a private garden which no one else can see. We have all Mediterranean plants. Luca Lucchetti and Mimo D'Angelo designed the loft together with local architect Massimo D'Alessandro. The idea of building a small house inside a big house resulted from my clients' requirements. They wanted a room that was isolated from the main room, where any noise would be shielded out as well. And that's what led to the idea of a house within a house. A simple staircase leads to the room, like a ladder to a treehouse. The room is freely suspended, attached by iron girders to the struts of the old roof. You can see the structure of the room best from this gallery. We call it our tree house. You can see the work of the architect very well from here. He built the capsule in such an ingenious way, it's almost like it's floating in the room. And I'm sure you're curious to know what it looks like inside. I'll show you. This is our bedroom, there's a dressing room and bathroom too. And from here we have a view out of the treehouse into the sky. Depending on their mood, the couple can use the huge open plan hall area or withdraw to one of the cozier corners of their home.